Hey guys, what's going on? Happy Saturday, June 4th. First day of summer was the other day. I hope you were excited. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have uh, had some really nice weather. So it's been really good. Anyway guys, a uh, few things I just want to talk about really quick that happened this past week. Uh, a couple a couple things in the news. You may have saw a, a man, Jack Kevorkian, passed away this week. He's also known as Dr. Death, the man who started the assisted suicides. He's assisted people committing suicide who were suffering from things like Lou Gehrig's disease, paralysis, and so forth. I've always been kind of against this whole thing, and to this day I still am. I mean, granted, I mean, seeing somebody face to face, I don't know, I mean, I'm sure it would still challenge me. I still think I would go the other route. And I even try to think, what if I was going through that pain? Would I want somebody to do that for me? And it's hard, you know. I mean, because it's hard to watch people suffer. I mean, we've noticed that over the past few weeks, uh, with all the devastation, the tornadoes been ripping through the middle part of America and everything, through Missouri and Oklahoma and Arkansas, uh, Massachusetts got hit. And you see, all these people are suffering through all these things. And you look at things going on around the world. Uh, could I do that? So, you know, what would you do? You, you do for an iPad 2. I remember a while back Alec did a thing asking, do we really need an iPad? I mean, I'm thinking about it, and so anyway, there's a young man in China who decided he wanted an iPad really badly, and he didn't have the money for it. 17 years old, and instead of getting a job, or an extra job, or, you know, selling some stuff, well, uh, take that back, he did sell something. He went online and found someone to sell his kidney to on the black market. So he did that and he sold it for roughly what would be about $3,400 American. And uh, when he came home his mom noticed something different about him. Not so much that he had his kidney removed, but he had an iPad too in one hand and a brand new iPhone I think or iPod in his hand. So anyway, apparently he really loves Apple. I think Apple, you guys should do something about this kid. He really likes you. Granted, they're made there, aren't they? So anyway, he did that, and I was wondering, what would you do for an iPad 2? Are they, you know, I guess it goes that question, do you need one? No, not really. But, it's, I don't know, it just makes you think, why? Uh, give me some of your thoughts on this whole thing about Dr. Jack Kevorkian. I do know one of the things that I was reading uh, stated that he kind of wishes he would have done things a little differently. His only regret was not going back through possibly doing it like legally, going through legislation and stuff like that, instead of just doing it the way he did. So anyway, what are your thoughts on that? And what are your thoughts on people selling their body parts to own something like an iPad? I mean, would you do something like that, not necessarily for an iPad, but for something else that you really, really want? Would you be willing to part with an organ or so or two? just to get that item that you want. So I'm going to go because i got some things I need to do and I need to get this up and edited. And so I will talk to you guys later. Semper Fido.